You saw someone this happy. It's happening every day. Have fun and get happy. You can't. You just won $100,000. Let's make a deal weekdays at 10, followed by Price is Right at 11, only on WNEM TV 5. Time in Las Vegas, Nevada, week five in the NFL. We've got families of face painters here for the Raiders and the Chicago Bears from Allegiant Stadium just off the strip. And welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I and Eagle, along with Charles Davis. Evan Washburn joins us as well. The good news for the Raiders, they're three and one to open the season. The storyline that they'd like to get away from is the slow starts. It continues to be an issue, and Derek Carr and company are trying to put that in the rearview mirror. Yeah, and I don't think it's going to take gadgets to get it done. They need to be a little bit cleaner out of the gate, a little more precise. That's what they're trying to get done, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if maybe they do a little bit of a change of maybe up the tempo a little bit. But one thing that will help, Josh Jacobs, their running back, is back at full strength. Said it's the best he's felt since the season has begun, and they're probably going to give it to him a lot in this game. Yeah, the numbers are not pretty. First half performances for the Raiders, it has been a struggle. They dig deep holes for themselves. For the most part, they've been able to get out of it because of their strong second half and overtime performances, but it was too much to overcome in the loss to the Chargers last week. Meanwhile, for the Chicago Bears, they enter action to two and two. The big story, though, this week for Chicago Chicago, they declared officially the starting quarterback. It's the rookie, Justin Fields. He's got the keys to the car. And we've been waiting for him to drive this car since the day they drafted and moved up from number 20 to number 11. And the reason that they did it, because of this big thunderbolt of a right arm he has. And when they run the ball well, as they did last week against Detroit, it sets up the play-action game from under center for Justin Fields. Look at him get back. Plenty of time now. And look at him rip that throw to Allen Robinson. You want to see it again? How about a different view in terms of the same type of a looking play? But guess what? Now Allen Robinson, instead of inside, goes outside. The ball's on him. And he'll use his legs today, too. Coming up, we'll get an injury report from Evan. And then we'll kick it off from Allegiant. Khalil Mack is back against the Raiders and his good friend Derek Carr. And it's all coming up on CBS. 